compatriots, ladies and gentlemen, this message is going back to those who are in the country. I have seen a lot of problems that are happening into our country. And it's really so sad for a citizen, someone like me, someone like all of you that are outside there. I have five words that I will need to discuss. First, division. The biggest problem that we have today is our politician. Our politician keep us and divided us and keep us to aid ourselves based on community is an egg line. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could ask, if we go back to 500 years ago, when South Sudanese were living peacefully, no one was having a problem to another person. But look at our country after 500 years. Not to talk about Sudan, when we get independent from a lot of the struggle of SPLA in order to give us the independence that we have today. But see our community, the way we are divided today. So this message is going directly to the citizen. Look at the politician. Why do you think they are making this lot of money? They are making this lot of money because they keep dividing us based on tribal line. If I could ask any citizen, who chooses his own mother? Who chooses his own father? Who chooses his own tribe? Look at today, if kids supposed to be from Equatoria, do you think he will be happy the way the government is run? If self care, or maybe if Riyang Mashar is from Dinka, do you think the Dinka will hate him? If Riyak, or if self care is a newer, do you think the new year will hate him? Where did we get this idea of hating ourselves and dividing ourselves on tribal line? Ladies and gentlemen, if you see up today, there is no other country on earth whereby the citizen can be divided on tribal line. We are all citizens. We are all South Sudanese. John Garang said what? John Garang said, there is no other country, there is no other leader that have to choose, or maybe that can, like, <clears throat> a leader that, that will be working based on a tribal identity. That leader does not deserve to be in the place. But someone who is supposed to see all South Sudanese or someone who has to see the citizen that live together for the sake of our country and for the sake of the prosperity of South Sudanese citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, this message is going directly to Nuer and Dinka. I must be really sure because this is the biggest problem and this is where the problem lies today. Look into our country. Who divided us? Nuer. Who divided us? Dinka. Even though I have the identity of holding from Nuer and Dinka, but that does not determine me that I have to support what they are doing. Because look at the defection today. What were they fighting for? What revolution were they fighting for? Position. They know right. But are we all about the position? We are about to change. We need to make the progress to all South Sudanese citizens. We need to make something that will give the good identity to all the South Sudanese citizens. This is not something that we fight for. This is something that we cannot accept it. But look about the defection of today. Who are defecting? From that side of Riyadh. These are all new, they are looking after position. Can you go to new come near? This is a shame. Second, that I need to talk among the five words that I mentioned is ethnic identity. Look at it today, people are divided on tribal line. They say there are new, there are Dinka, and all this. Where did we get this idea of dividing ourselves? The time we look for independence, there is no identity of Nuer or Dinka, whatever is happening. But this is something we cannot accept. It will already run work in Kotori and Nigerian and she she will go and meet you. But they go borrow down and because we have to divide it ourselves based on tribal line. This is something that we never accepted. But who are who are the politicians are fooling? Is we the youth? How can a citizen like me be running after a politician and dancing as if something really important happened? Because Riyaga is from Nuer and maybe Selfakir is from Dinka. Riyaga is from Nuer, Selfakir is from Dinka, and he is from Nuer, and he is from Nuer. This is something nonsense. We cannot accept it because this is because of the country. The interest for all South Sudanese is an identity. If we need to change our country, we have to tell our leader that we have to remove what is called ethnic identity because this is something that we never fought for. But if you are a citizen, and you try to say that you need to make change and you're still supporting the ethnic identity. My friend, you have no future because 
that politician will never do anything. Where are their kids? They are in Europe, they are studying, they are in very big universities. Imagine if Kerry is in the village, Iraq is in the village, and someone is in the power, and people are killing. Like, Mitkene Jack and Mitkene Nok, Koytabai, and like, these children are being killed based on tribal line. Do you think they will be happy? They will never, they will definitely not be happy about what is really happening. So the third idea is that, where do we get the guns? How did the citizen have the gun, those who are not even militarily? The right question is that, who give them? If we say today we need like disarmament, we need the country to intervene, who give the citizen? It's the government, definitely that. How can a government that give harm to the civilian disarm the civilian? Definitely that they will get the harm. But how can a civilian carrying a gun? It never exists to any country on the earth. And if someone is saying that because I'm a good leader and you are still giving gun to the civilian, I think it's we, like a Kajara Loyman, like <coughs> what is happening in Rombek, what is happening in Warab, what is happening in Morleland, what is happening in Nuerland, or what is happening in Jungle and Afana. This is something that if a really leader was really serious enough, and a citizen like me can never accept to, to follow such kind of leaders that give us gun. There is no other country in Africa, even South Sudan, who manufacture guns, the Europeans. And how can a country like South Sudan being like they are, they are buying guns from the European and selling them to their own citizens to kill themselves? What for? What reason? There is no any reason for a citizen to kill one another. Like what is happening now with Rombek is worse than a corona. Because like many people are dying if you can like from 1983 up to today. Maybe what is happening in Afan Island in Baragazan is something worse than this. A million of people are dying every day. We talk of corona today with a lot of budget, but why the country fail even to intervene and see the issue of this clan division ethnic? The politicians are just running in Juba, those in the parliament, the ministers, and you see these lowest Jews that do not even reason. They are running after politicians, posting them on the Facebook, on social media, as if they are a good leader. What have they done? They are just continuing to divide us based on tribal line. Even I'm from Rumbeg, I have to hear those of Warab. And those in Rumbeg, even they are killing them. Do you think it's something really important? Look at what is happening in Afanal. Like what is happening in Jungle, Nuer Kumorle, and they are killing themselves. Nakarokin, do you think it's something really important? Who gave guns? Do you think this, the normal civilian, even Koikonlo Tukuli, they did not go to the university, Native Kanwe University? How can they afford to have guns? And where did they get the bullet? and who support them to go and attack others. In the government, surely that. But as a citizen, if you really think that you can make change, my friend, it's not about the criticizing, but it's about telling the fact. We have to stand and tell our country leaders that because we really support them, they did something really important. Kir is still our president, Riyag is our vice president, the first vice president, and all of them, they are our leaders. But we are the one to tell them the truth. Because if we keep hiding like this development and all things, these are something that are really not making sense. Because like a leader has to make something different. Because you cannot be a leader when you are still dividing your own citizen. So that is the third. Coming to <coughs> the use among ourselves, the social media. As a citizen, how can you post tribal division posts? Article. Look today, if I post about, like I say, it's self care is bad, everyone will criticize me because they will say, this is a new year. If I criticize Eric, they say, because this guy is a dinka. This is something nonsense because, like, as a citizen, you have to write something that really makes sense because tomorrow you will be the leader. In 40 years, you will become the next president of South Sudan. But if you are a president who just support Kiro or Eric or Summer Cyrilo, what change will you make? This is something we can never support it. So, what I'm trying to say is that we have to distance ourselves from. Tribal, tri tribal agenda or tribal article that divided us on social media. So ladies and gentlemen, my final message is that we need to unite as South Sudanese because this is our country, this is our home, this is a country that we have to fight for and country that we need to make in the future because the world now is really suffering and people are suffering from this corona. But I hope that if we really united and support our leaders, South Sudan can be free out of corona and people will be united and live together as brothers and sisters. This is something that, <coughs> all that I say, this is something that I really see is really hurting me, like issue of tribal conflict, the catering that is happening in Rombek. Because this is something really bad. Those who are dying, they deserve to live. They don't have to die because who is supplying them is the government. Because if I say the government, because anything comes from the government, even the rebel, they were part of the government. But today, see the, the rebel, the defection, because the government is 
allowing those people to defag and accepted them. These people who have to suppress to face justice, the law, because they are criminal, they kill South Sudanese. They are still killing and they are still dividing South Sudanese. This is something we should not accept it. So ladies and gentlemen, let's unite ourselves. And because we are all South Sudanese, no matter what you are from, Equatoria, Apanal, no one is called Equatoria, no one is called Barghazalian, no one is called Apanalian. We are all South Sudanese and we deserve to live as brothers and sisters. Let's put the rule of law, the rule of justice. Let's tell our government that let the military, the police, must respect the rule of law because this is not what we fight for to divide ourselves and kill ourselves but we are there in order to help and to support our country and to make change because this is what the world is after and this is what the world wants us to see so ladies and gentlemen i really thank you for this opportunity and i think this message may touch somebody out there so may peace be with all of you and thank you so much